Do you want to be a pro grinder during the Adopt Me Two Times Books and Aging Weekend but don't know how? Make sure to watch this video to find out how you can professionally prepare for this update. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you all how you can prepare for the two times books and aging weekend in adopt me Adopt me does not release the two times update very often guys So make sure to make the most of it while you can And now for the first tip that I'm going to say is make sure that you're ready to be in grinding mode And what I mean by this is if you're building a house right now Make sure you either finish it or just don't build while the update is on because you don't want to be building while the two times aging update is on because you won't be making the most of it. And then you can just build your house after the update, guys. Okay, now for tip two that I'm going to give you, it is always be a baby if you don't have old accounts. So if you're a baby, then you'll be earning books for yourself and your pet, which will be like not two times books it'll be four times books during this update and your pet will also be aging up two times fast so you'll be getting two times age potions if it's a friend pet but if you do have old accounts i would really recommend especially during this update joining all your old accounts and just leaving them afk or as a baby in your house and then when you um, go back to your house, you can also do your old accounts tasks to get more money. But the main thing is make sure your old accounts have a pet out. And then you can be aging up all your pets a lot faster. Like if you have three old accounts and they've all got a pet out, you'll have four pets all together, including yours. So that will already be eight times books during this update. And you'll be aging up your pets eight times as fast during this update so then you'll be getting so 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 much more age potions with all your old accounts pets too and then you can make your megas and neons a whole lot faster in adopt me so i would really recommend if you've got old accounts now's the time to join them when this update comes out guys and now for tip three that i'm going to give you is to make sure you're not missing any of the tasks and if this means going in a private server then you may have to go in a private server because sometimes in a public server you miss tasks if you're in a trade with someone as you can't do tasks when you're in trades um but a public server is fine for this just make sure that you try and do all your tasks and don't miss them before they go like the orange tasks don't miss them because they will get you a lot of books. And now for the next tip that I'm going to give you about how to prepare for this update is if you're going to be grinding, you can write in your name, um, I'm grinding, not trading right now. So that means people will not trade you if you're in a public server or most people won't trade you. Or obviously you can just turn your trades off. But um, if you don't want to do that, you can just type it in your name. And then the next tip I'm going to give you is make sure that you have your grinding house um, ready. Like if you have multiple houses, make sure you've got your grinding house out. So all the facilities are right there for you when you walk in. So then you can just do your pets tasks really, really quickly. And I would also recommend um, doing all these tips because if you like the new pets that have come out, and you, as you know, like there's 600 books to buy one of the fishing rods to throw into the water. And if you really like these, then this update will be amazing for you because you'll be able to earn so many books to then get so much of the new pets. And then you'll be able to trade the new pets for really good overpays, especially if you get like the ultra rare or the legendary Mahi Mahi, because I think they're going to be getting overpays still when this update comes out, guys. So this is really useful to get the new pets too. And now for the next tip that I'm going to give you, it is to make sure that you are grinding like all the time. Like if you need to leave Adopt Me on while you're going to do something else, like if you have got to leave it to go and like eat or do something else, just try and leave Adopt Me on anyway. And then when you come back, you can quickly do all of your tasks and then it will be like, say if you've got like four tasks when you come back to Adopt Me, it will actually kind of be like you've got eight because it's two times aging and two times books. So then it's a lot better if you leave Adopt Me on for a lot of the time because you'll actually do a lot more tasks 
as if you were to turn it off and then just turn it back on when you can like actually play but if you just have to leave it afk and then you can still do your tasks that's still fine just make sure not to leave it more than 20 minutes guys and then the next tip i'm going to give you guys is to make sure that you're grinding with other people if you can like if your friends want to join and grind with you that can make it a lot nicer for you than grinding on your own because grinding on your own can sometimes be a bit like lonely and you don't know what to do whereas if you're grinding with friends it can be a lot more fun so i really recommend doing this if you can guys so these are some of the tips that really helped me during the two times adopt me books and aging weekend and i really hope they help you guys too Okay, now I'm going to announce something really special for my channel. So as you know, I hit 1K subscribers and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you so much. And because of this, I'm going to be doing a Adopt Me giveaway. And there's going to be three winners. There's going to be a first place, a second place and a third place. And with the first place, it's going to, you're going to win a Royal Palace Spaniel, which is rideable. And guys, this is worth about three to four legendaries if you wanted to trade it because it's 200 Robux to buy. But they're just really cute, so you might not want to trade it if you win anyway. And for second place, I'm going to be giving away a Neon Poodle, guys, to second place. And then for third place, I'm going to be giving away one Orca. So if you want to win any of these pets, guys, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment your username down below to have a chance of winning this giveaway. And I'm going to be announcing the giveaway in a few days' time, so make sure you enter soon. And thank you so much for watching if you're still watching right now, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, tigers!